Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Disc Creatures, a monster training game inspired by the Game Boy Color. I gotta start off this episode for apologizing for last week's episode. It appears I was a bit aggressive with my keyboard tapping in the last few episodes and I do apologize. I tried to edit out as much as I can in post the clicks and stuff that you could hear but a few got through because i was talking or something like that something was going on that i didn't want to cut out i apologize for being really hard on my keyboard i will try to be a little bit more gentle as we go on i tried to use the controller steam says there is it is a partial controller support which typically means that the title screen menus don't work but in game it will work but my logitech controller doesn't work at all so i'm gonna have to stick to the keyboard so we have a couple that i don't think i've ever seen the jacko sock and the pyrefly i don't think i have seen at all before and then we have the volt gamma and these are Okay, not as bad as I thought. There are 31s and 32s. I thought I was a little bit lower than that. Hopefully, we'll be okay here. Let's see what I got with we what we can do. I want to do Magical Veil on my Bracketron. And then Tremor. And then Sandstorm. Those are both, both Earth types that affect everybody. And hopefully they'll do quite a bit of damage against these fire types it looks like the volt gamma is the only one that it said it was weak to so i'm a little curious about that hopefully we'll be able to get through here without too much trouble there goes the trimmer and it, i wouldn't say it was too bad in the first round we still knocked one out which is typically i want to knock one out won a round that's really my oh i can't use mind abilities wow that's unfortunate so let's go ahead and use magic veil on me again that's not good at all i want to try brush away and then sandstorm and see how that works it might not come out typically the way i want to do it is that i want to be able to knock one creature off a round at least and hopefully we can last three rounds usually in that instance we're not too bad off but you can see that was actually quite a bit well i would say quite a bit a little bit more difficult than what i originally thought we're getting into more of the fire types which could spell disaster for my great tamati and hopefully it won't to be honest i'm really hoping that we will not get into a lot of trouble here let's no that's only 40 so let's do it off my volta gamma is doing fine i don't expect any trouble with my volta gamma because he is a fire type most of the fire moves probably won't be strong against him See, these, the, this is where it gets funny is when you have these combo types and how they work with the different attacks. I really just don't know if a fire type is weak or not weak. You know, I know a fire type is weak to waters, let's say, and then now does a fire electric type change that some way did that was that on tremor because that's what i well let's try to do brush away and then sandstorm i don't know how well tremor will work against these it didn't seem to do a whole lot of good in the last one hopefully it'll go a little bit better in this one i'm hoping that the brush away will do more now the tomato got a big hit there but hopefully the sap We'll be able to pull that back if he ever gets to attack. There is a... That looks like a... No, uh, yeah, that is a... What's the word? Uh, a challenger, a... 
another trainer person like type that hopefully won't cause too much trouble here we're gonna do metal launcher because we have the the metal type and the rock type and the thunder whip i think the thunder whip well i know the thunder whip is strong against the metal i think it's neutral against the rock and hopefully it'll do good against the that fire electric type and it seemed to have done good so hopefully we'll be able to do not too bad here there's the sap that's going to be able to pull wow it really didn't do much damage there which is unfortunate so maybe sap would have been better to go against the kickstar because i know it's weak to it and it would be able to hit it and get more health back instead of the fire type i was trying to get the fire type out quickly so that i wouldn't have to worry about it hitting my great tamati but i think think it would have been better to go the other way on that i have no idea where this is leading me and that one just charged right down at me that was kind of crazy i did not expect that one thing that i did notice is i'm really glad i didn't switch that out because we're getting a lot more rock and metal types here than i would have expected when i first came into this when they said that there's going to be fire types ahead or a change i really expected it to be a much larger change there i expected it to be almost all fire types and it's not that way so i'm really happy that i kept my great tamati in even though he's weak to the fire i think it's much better to have him in in this way so that I have a little bit of a split. I think it would have been really hard to level up the Pokepod into a suitable battle or a suitable level in which he could sustain himself. Drill R, that's good. Let's go and try this guy. I came out here to train in the flames. That's a little worrisome. So we got two wins and a fire they're actually extremely low level and i've got to uh, what do i want to do the the wind is not probably not going to hurt the bats let's go with metal launcher and sandstorm i don't think the earth is going to be really strong against the wind but let's go ahead and try it seemed to do pretty good damage there against them i remember the but tells being extremely low on health when i had my Battel early on so i expect in them no matter what to go pretty easily because i expect them to have low health and it looks like this is going to be another fairly quick battle right from the beginning i had a lot of worry about the trainers because they were beating me constantly i was getting really wrecked by the trainers but it appears that where the trainers were a little bit higher level than the surrounding creatures early on in the game they seem to be lower than the surrounding creatures now i don't know why they changed it that way but it seems to be a switch there and it seems like the trainers are can i get you can i fight you do you not want to fight the trainers seem to be much lower level now 33 i definitely need some of these guys but here's a whole row of fire types that i gotta say i'm a little worried about i might do magic veil on my I think that's probably a good thing and then let's do tremor and then sandstorm hopefully that's going to hurt them well i'm really sometimes i'm i'm on some of these because one of them was part wind type one of them was part earth type i'm really like i don't know which one i'm gonna hit which one is better but you can see only one of those 
was actually weak to earth and I'm the whole mechanics here I'm really confused oh wow my I got to do something about that my volt to gamma almost went out there and hopefully we can I am going to use my great tomati nope I'm going to use an item to heal him up I did not expect it to pop out like that I really didn't expect him to get hit that hard let's try metal launcher and then I'm just going to go with another sandstorm that seems to be although it's not straight up doing a ton of damage to every one of them it seems to be hitting every one of them well and while I'd like to be doing ones that they're weak against at least it's not strong against it I don't mind weak is the best but if it's a neutral then I'm okay with that it's really okay and we're we're making progress we're doing damage and we're not dying that's really the important thing here we're not getting any more ability skills here unfortunately i really would like to have some more come on sometimes these guys sometimes i i can't get them at all and sometimes i can't get away from them which is kind of funny yeah i'm gonna go magical veil i'm gonna do magical veil probably on my volt gamma every turn until he gets that level up just to provide that little bit of security there now the magical veil will not offset the damage that volta gamma gets if he gets hit but it will give him a little bit of a fighting chance it'll let's say it'll heal 30 and he'll do 40 points of damage so that the offset is only 10 and that's really good in the long run to do something i should have done electric there because of it doesn't really matter but the electric would have hurt that metal type much better or much more oh we're doing a bomb and I, I have one of those so hopefully volt the gamma levels up pretty soon it seems we're making some good progress here we had a there's been times we've had a little bit of trouble and actually this is a hard set of people here i want to let's do magic veil against him or not against him i'm almost tempted to try brush away here or let's see what metal launcher metal launcher might not be weak to the metal type but it's going to do a lot of damage that's what i'm i'm trying to say and that middle guy my volt game is weak to earth so i'm a little thinking that maybe we should try electric here i don't know how well that's going to do it's probably going to do really poorly but i'm hoping that earth type is going to get hit really hard with it nope nope not at all that's was a bad decision there but we could if we could focus on that's not good that paralyzing they did some nasty ones and my volta game is going to get hit hard on that one yeah i know he's weak to earth so we want to get that one out as soon as i can if at all possible so let's focus fire on that one i'm not sure why the, did the metal launcher not go off i can't do metal attacks let's try tremor or i can't do mind attacks on him and let's try sandstorm the paralysis might cause me problems oh that's not good okay we need to see if we could for some reason they're just killing me on this one and i am really worried here okay let's do a yeah that paralysis really hurt me i could use an item to reboot the volta gamma and salt water as maybe what i should have done. i can't do mine see that's gonna be the i've set it up that really hurts you when you can't do those mind attacks sometimes i'm just hoping that he doesn't attack he's weak to win that's good so we'll have to use that next turn and he got knocked down so we'll be able to pull this out but wow we got 
a nasty bit of damage here. The wind and then the sandstorm should be able to take him out. Hopefully, there's the sandstorm. And then the brush away should be able to kill him. Oh, did he dodge it? He must have. Ah, man. This is just killing. This guy will not, will not die at all. And I am out of... Wow, we are one E off there, and that's... Oh, he E charged too. Wow, I just barely made it out on that one. That was a, a lot tougher battle than I would have expected, but that wind type was what I needed to use earlier, and that would have helped me much better. So let's heal up a little bit what we can. Let's put a couple on him. And one of the Volta Gamma again only has 200 at level 33, and that's a really bad health, in my opinion. Sap can do that, so I'm gonna hold off on putting him on. I figure that his sap should be able to do okay there. What does this sign say? Deeper into the magma fields. I'm not sure I want to go deeper in the magma fields. Build and blocked off the bridge here. A high-level creature might be able to move it out of the way. I wonder what high level use the creature to break it I could try which creature would you use let's try my Brachatron and see if he can a bolt okay this is kind of odd but okay let's it's rock let's try the metal launcher no one damage wow that didn't work out for us at all I'm not sure what else would have done good there. And I'm really worried about what's going on. I may not be able to do well at all here. Okay. Let's sap one of these. I'm gonna do brush away. I think a brush away is a much stronger. I would have thought the metal attack because it's a damage higher than the brush away. It would do more damage, but I guess because the brush away is the weak to the wind type it really does better there hopefully that we can take them out there's one i don't know if we're gonna take any of the other ones out no but i don't think we did too bad there i'm i'm a little worried that we might be out leveled here we can't Oh, no mind attacks. Sheesh. Those things, those abilities are actually the ones that I usually ignore. The things that the abilities and not the straight attacks that stop mind or power moves are actually really hurting me right now when I would have thought that we would have been much better you know i usually ignore those types of attacks and now they're really hurting me let's try the bracketron again and see i don't know what i could do a boulder appeared let's try my brush away and see a tremor i don't know do i need to have so many so much of a damage the brush away did better wonder if salt water would work I don't know what is the, I don't know if it's going to be a stone or is it going to be earth in which it is. Let's try salt water and see. I don't know if that's going to make it do any more damage. No, it took one damage. The brush away was the best. I, I could try the trimmer, but I really don't think the trimmer is going to do it. To be honest, unless they're looking for something specific like that. Let's keep pushing on and we'll come back to it and see. Now here's an odd one. We want to sap him. I'm almost tempted to brush or salt water him in order to get him. I, I think we are. And then to get that first, that guy, that first one, the blaze were out of my way as quickly and best I can because that is going to really hurt my Voltagam if he gets hit so that's why I did the salt water and the sap I'm hoping that that's going to make 
a difference and really hurt him. But wow, I am just taking a lot of damage here. Wow, the sap did a tremendous amount of job. Wow, I did not expect it to do that well there. Go ahead and sap this other guy then. And then we'll do... Yeah, and Thunder Whip will probably take those guys out without too much trouble. There's a lot going on in here, and I'm really trying to figure out the best way to balance my team. I mean, your team needs to be balanced, and they keep on dodging out of the way. That's one of the tough things. I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to have to E-charge on both of these, it looks like. And hopefully the, I'm gonna try the sandstorm because I'm hoping that the sandstorm is going to be able to do enough to take that bomb mite out of the way and he dodged out of the way. But wow, that Jacko sock really is just hanging on there and causing me all kinds of problems. Another metal launcher. They keep on, dot, I wonder if they have a higher chance to dodge out of the way if it's a multi-attack one. Let's try that and then my plasma bomb. Do I not have 15? Oh man. I was just thinking that if maybe they have a higher chance of dodging out of the way if they, if it's a multi-attack versus a single attack. That worked out well for us, but again, my Volt again, I almost want to have my Onion back in there just because of the health is just devastating me right now. Because we're gonna run through these rather quickly, I do believe. If we're not too careful. And I'm not sure what to do to get around that. I'm hoping that there's something up here maybe that I could get or get across there. These guys, we're almost all, we're a level above them or more, but I think it's just the, what they are is causing me problems. The multi abilities of them is causing me a little bit of trouble combined with my Volta Gamma so low in health. I mean, that energy burn hurts. He did a magical veil. Okay, that guy's going to be a little bit harder to kill because he's going to pull that health back up. But hopefully that wind's going to take him out. There we go. I like that. Okay, that wind is actually really helpful. And I probably should hold on to that and keep doing that. One. I have not oh sweet i love it i almost with that being right there i am tempted to jump in here and try disc what did he have what did the onion have that was i think he's on level one here oh maybe he was not on page one i thought he was on page one there he is. What else? I want to manage him. Let's put him on my, I just, just, just to figure out. I, it's probably a bad idea, but if he gets knocked out real quickly and real easily, it's not a big deal. We could go right back here and switch him out. The equipment, okay, we got to make sure we put the equipment back on him. And I believe I could do that. I have to, come all the way out I believe and then we can yeah there it is equipment for my onion I need to have that what is the bomb all yeah we don't want to do disc disc the disc recorder is what's been really helping me here let's see if this was a really bad decision or not I don't know I forget what the onion has but he has so much more life than it well 30, 40 more and being all grass may not be the best choice. I thought he had a lot more than that, but he has poison wave. He has sap. Those are maybe not, I might look at some of his other magical ones. Let's pull that up. And instead of doing 
those keep sap because sap's definitely helpful yeah that's weak to flame is going to be bad but it didn't do nothing didn't do very much damage to him strong versus spirit strong versus spirit okay that doesn't help me a whole lot there the sap would have been a lot better to be honest with you with those okay so i can't do map my oh gosh so he's actually completely m marked out which we're gonna have to look they do a lot of that let's go ahead and put magical veil they do a lot of the let's see what he does with that the root sword probably not gonna be a hard one they do a lot of that mind one so we need to it did strong versus grass but it did a lot more damage than the spirit attack did so that's definitely good the sandstorm definitely would help i would say that the sandstorm definitely would have helped me here but i'm not so sure that it's completely like 100 percent definitive one way is what i'm trying to say let's see what heals he has let's pull up the move changer let's go ahead and look through them really quickly as we are running low on okay so he he has not gotten anything new and no he hasn't gotten anything new let's see what the onion has he has he does have a water attack a toxic spray so let's see let's take out this plant oil he has that too trimmer let's take out root sword so we have sap let's put in trimmer and teardrop and see how those play out and what is this i beam high crit rate maybe that would be better than the poison sa i mean the poison's nice can cause toxics very nice but i'm gonna try that out i did forget to look at the great tamati everything's mine and i'm a little worried about that root sword what if i took the enigma rock out and put in root sword that way at least gives me one power move squash wouldn't be a bad thing either let's because they're weak to let's try that squash they're it's they both damage rate they're going to be weak to the grass at least they're not weak to this default normal attack let's try that out and see what happens and i want to see what that sap does against these so let's just try the squish was okay let's use sap against him brush away and then sap against him and hopefully that should i know my onion is going to run first because or one of the first ones because he's always been had a really high speed okay there's sap one hit took him down my great tamati down awesome brush away should almost kill both of those and then i am good i could do just do that again basically and take them out i believe the they'd be weak to the i understand that they're weak to the grass and probably will not do the damage i want them to do but still it's going to heal them somewhat and then the brush away should take them all the way out again my onion is pretty low here trick let's see what that does i mean the brush away is going to kill him i am going to go ahead and try sap and see if we can get a little bit more health out of here out of him 27 it, it worked out not too bad i think we can manage it might be a little bit difficult again if i had one other rock or a meadow with the fire it's not so bad onion is probably not the best choice here i think the volta gamma might be a little bit less a little bit better but we are going to go with that and see how it goes thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it we're going to push on in the next episode i gotta watch out i'm not going to run into that 
Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.